So in this exercise, we're working the abdominal muscles, the glutes, the hamstrings, and the quads, which is uh, very important and specific to five-a-side football. It's important to work within these areas so that players can build up their strength, prevent um, injuries, and those areas don't fatigue quickly. Okay, just gonna work on some core exercises specific to five-a-side. Okay, so it's gonna be working on your abs, your, uh, your hip flexors, be working on your quads, going to be working on your glutes and upper body strength as well, okay? So the first exercise we're going to do, just get yourself into a plank position, engage your stomach nice and tight. I'm just going to hold it for 30 seconds, very, very simple. Let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. To side plank, get your hips up, nice and flat. Again, Engage your obliques, your abdominals. If you want to further challenge yourself, just put your arm up in the air if you can. If you're a pro, oh, they've all got their hands up. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Glute bridges, so we're here. I want you to just to bring your heels as close to your bum as possible. Keep your hands flat. And all we're going to do is you're just going to squeeze up, get your hips up off the floor, okay, you're gonna really, really tense your glute muscles, okay? So you're gonna hold that for five seconds and then just easily just bring your, your body down. Just want five reps, okay? On this one, all it's gonna be, just a lunge here, hold it, and then back, okay? So it's just gonna be 10 on each leg. Again, keep your core nice and tight. Just lunging down, try and keep your, your knee off the floor and you're here, okay? So you're just always just working on one leg, 10 reps. 10 on each leg. All you're gonna do, very, very simple, is use the ball, we're here, up, move it to the next one. Okay, just 10 of those, please. Slide down, Monty. Good. Okay, it's gonna be unstable, so all you're looking for is press-ups. Just 10 of those with your ball, with your foot trapped in between the ball, okay? Just 10 of those. Last one, just a bit of fun. Just working your pairs. I'm in a press up position, so wherever you move it, I have to move with the ball, okay? Every so often, you're just gonna leave the ball there. I'm gonna do one press up on the, with my forehead on the ball, okay? So just move the ball, wherever the ball moves to, okay, there. And then you move it again. So wherever he moves, I'll follow him, okay? Three stops for the person to do a press up on, okay? Guys, who with the ball, just move the ball nice and quick. Little step overs, trick the guy, okay? Wherever he moves that ball, people in the press up position, you then go with him. Players should try and incorporate this within their training as, as often as possible, um, at least three times a week. Tips for players doing these drills should be to vary the exercises so they don't become stale and so that they become challenged every time that they do it.